Namaste, pur namaste. Everybody welcome from the heart, not from the ego, from the false mind. No, 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 not from the false ego mind. Everybody welcome. Welcome to the art of the world that I am. Creating value for you from the heart because I love you, your real self. As I love myself, I'm not ego. Ego hates himself and hates others. I love you as I love myself. And in this video, we're going to really dive deep. And I'm going to give you something very valuable. I give you my word, always very valuable. But here I'm giving you something very valuable. We will speak about ego. About ego. False self. And how you know whether thoughts or emotions are coming from your false self, from ego, or from your real self. Now you have to know, there are so many misconceptions about ego. So many ego misconceptions. Calling this and that ego, which is not ego. And so many misconceptions like, love your ego. Yes, but don't accept it. Love it like a prison you're leaving to release it. Ego is not who you are. What is ego? What is ego, false mind, hunger? Ego, false mind, hunger, false self is that interface that actually enslaves the soul underneath material energy and conditions the soul into the physical energy so the soul forgets myself that I am you. Ego actually serves that lower energy which is physical energy can enslave and subdue the highest energy, spirit, soul, source that I am you, your real self in the heart. Ego is the identification with the false self, with the mind, with the mind which is separated from the heart, from who you are, from the truth, you know. And programmed with all past traumas, past programming, past beliefs, and everything, all just thinking. And the ego is that interface that tells you, I am the mind. When you are ego is false self, you think that you are the mind. You think that you are your thoughts. But you are not that. You are not that. You are not your ego. You are not your ahankar. Ahankar is Vedic word, Vedic term. But the real identification is, I have a mind. I am the heart. I have a mind. That's no state of ego. It's illumination from the heart, enlightenment, freedom of ego, and using the mind to create from the heart. Mind is an interface to create, to express yourself, to create the creation in this world, physical world, interface through which soul can create in this world. This is the original mind. Ego, false self, is identification with the mind. I am the mind. No, you're not the mind. I am. So you have to know. Ego is false self. Ego is separation from the source. Ego is your enemy. Ego is not your friend. You should not make your ego your friend. Because when you're making your ego a friend, you're accepting it in your house. I am ego. I, okay, I accept. To love your ego means that you love ego like a prison that you're leaving. You're not keeping the prison. You're leaving the prison. You're saying, thank you, my ego for the experiences that only hurted me and others and the illusions you projected and the separation so I could learn about who I am not, about my false self, that I'm not a mind, but now I don't need you prison anymore. I love you unconditionally and I have to release you. 
Ego is false identification. You should not accept it and make it a friend. You should love it like Source loves everything unconditionally. Like something that... They are like clouds that covered the sunshine that you are. You know? Which is love, which is Source energy. So ego nature is that it runs only on guilt and on fear. In this way, if you are always guilty and afraid of others, when you are afraid of others, you're blaming others, there's always guilt that's opposing ego, and then self-destructive ego, you're blaming yourself, you think that you are not good enough, you're apologizing always, like you think that they think that you did something wrong. You are people pleasing, you allow people to do to you things that are not, do not feel right to you. You allow people to deplete you of energy and to do, f and you do things to, for them just to please them, not to hurt them, to be polite, which really do not feel right. This is self destructive ego, which say you are not good enough, you did something wrong. You have to apologize non-stop. And you are not sincere. When you feel no, you say yes. Because false ego is blaming others, afraid of them, or blaming you. And now you understand this. This side of the ego. Self-destructive side of the ego. That's a shit. If you always think you're not good enough, you're apologizing like I many times see, Purna, uh, did you think that I did something wrong I didn't mean? <laughs> I am not in ego. I would tell you. I would let you know. When you're free of ego, you stop deceiving people. You love yourself. So you have to understand, always when these thoughts come, what you did wrong, what others think that you did wrong, that you're not good enough, that you're a failure, thoughts that you should not be sincere and please others, otherwise you're a bad person. It's always guilt, it's always blame. So ego is the separation from the source. And when your mind is telling you negative things about you and negative projections, you know, it's just separation from the source. You can be sure everything negative about you, all the negative emotions of guilt, shame, you're not good enough. You did something wrong, all this thinking, you know. Always blaming you, blaming you, blaming you. Everything what doesn't feel right actually comes from the ego because it's the separation from the source, from the self. When you, when you go into the enemy of yourself, you can always be sure. Now when you feel guilt, you feel shame, you feel fear, you feel jealousy, you feel your piece of shit. The source, you are feeling the energies that are in separation from the real self, energies of ego, because ego is always blaming you and always blaming others, always blaming others. And just source that I am from the heart is signaling you that you went out of alignment with the source and that you should not think that you're not good enough. You should not think that you should apologize. You should not think that you have to put up and do things that really do not feel right just to people, please. That you should stop thinking that you are a piece of shit. That you did something wrong. It's always source signaling you with these negative emotions that follow, that with your thoughts, with your mind, you have went out of the alignment 
with the source. So whenever you're thinking, oh, oh, I did something wrong, maybe I shouldn't do that, maybe I shouldn't do this, uh, I maybe hurt that person, or I shouldn't be sincere, or uh, I'm a really bad person, I'm not good enough. Always blaming yourself. Always. Always when negative thoughts about you come. No. This is ego. Ego nature is to blame you and to blame others. Like, when you in the heart, you know that you have some negativity within you, that you have some false self to clear. There is no blaming, there's no guilt, there's no guessing, there's no, if I did this wrong, did I do this wrong, should I, no. You clearly feel, you clearly feel this energy in your mind, in your ego, is out of alignment with your true self, and you have to release it. You don't blame yourself, you're not guilty of nothing, it's just clear sight. You are seeing it clearly. You are seeing it clearly. And you, with love, you heal this and release this. You don't blame yourself. You don't blame others. You don't think you're guilty of anything. Nature of the ego is to blame you. But when you from the heart see that you have to clear some misaligned energies in your ego self, it's not coming from the ego. It's coming from the real self. It's coming with love and it's coming with clarity. And that's truth. And when you're blaming yourself, when you're full of shame, when you think that you're a piece of shit, when you think that you have to put up with shit of others and you are not a good person, then your ego is blaming you, the opposite side of the ego, which is same that ego that is opposing and attacking. That side is blaming you. You are an ego. This thought and this feelings are not true. That's not the way how source feels about you. You are that source and from your real self, from your source, you're getting the signals with negative emotions that you went out of the alignment from your true self. And ego is separation from the true self, is separating you from your heart and let convincing you that you are your mind. So always when you are in this energies that doesn't feel right, this emotions, your Heart, your source that I am is signaling you, you went out of the alignment of your true self. And this is the truth, beloved angels. This is the truth. Nature of the ego is to keep you in the matrix by blaming you for being yourself. You yeah. know. And always... When people attack others, when people blame others, when people oppose others, when people challenging others, if you do this to others, if others do, they do this to you, this is false ego, false ego mind. It's nature to blame, to attack. You know. So always when you judge somebody and when somebody is judging you or you're thinking and blaming somebody and like this pointing fingers, somebody pointing finger at you, it is always your ego blaming others. It is not true. And is always thinking what he did wrong, what he could bring, trying to figure out, trying to judge. Ego's nature is to blame, to keep you in the matrix. So you create bad karma with others. So you stay in the matrix, identify yourself with your guilt and your blame. Blaming others, blaming yourself. Again, if you clearly feel from the heart, in your body, from the source that I am, that this people, this person is a cheater, this person is not sincere, this person is doing something that is not right. You just clearly feel it, you don't judge it, you don't oppose it, you just express it, I'm sorry, I will not put up with this shit. You don't judge them, you don't blame them, you walk away. You let them know that you feel the energy, you know what they done, like I have let no one girl this morning in the comments and I know why. It's something that is not visible in comments, but it was insane. Just to 
express myself. I'm sorry. I will not put up with this energy. I'm a master. See me as a master, not as a man of this world. With lust, see me as somebody who can teach you enlightenment. I had to express myself. And I don't care. You know, ego. I will now tell you something about the ego. I wanted to make another video about this or write it, but I will invite a friend for a healing this afternoon and I will just speak this because it's connected with ego and I will make these two topics into one topic because actually I have spoken it about it. People pleasing, trying to be polite. When you feel differently and people are in your energy and you glorify them, you try to please them. You say things to them which are not true in your heart. You, they want you to do things for them which doesn't feel right and you do it. Or you don't do it but you make excuses. You know, you, my mother is sick. You know, I have so much work to do. You know, I don't have really time. I would do if I would. But in, inside your feeling, inside your feeling, I just don't want to do it. I want to watch a movie. I want to meditate. I want peace. This is not my work. You know. Trying to be polite. Trying to be people pleasing. Then putting up with people doing shit to you. What you never do to anyone. Because you would hurt them. And it would maybe offend them. If you would let them know. Hey, this doesn't feel right to me. Don't do this with me. Why is it? Why is it? I tell you something. This is ego. Ego always blaming you that you do something wrong if you are yourself and you have to put up with shit of others because otherwise you are guilty. You are guilty of something. But why it is so righteous, you know? Everybody likes if you tell them, Oh, sorry, I, I, I would do this to you, but I uh, have no time, I'm so busy. Or they tell you, yes, you are so great, and you are so good, and yes, you can do this, we can do this together all the time. But inside you're feeling, no, we, we, we cannot. You know, when you lie to people, you just feel you do not want to do it, but then you create a story so you don't hurt them, or you're doing for them what is not in your heart. This is ego. Ego telling you you are guilty of something, you are not good enough, if you are sincere and truthful and you say, no, this is not who I am from the heart, this is not my work, this is not what I want to do now, this is not what I enjoy, or you say, no. I'm not doing this to you. Anything what would not make you feel right, I don't want to do in your energy. Please don't do this. And when somebody is actually acting like this, like I am, I'm very sensitive. I'm a teacher. If I see a comment that I don't like, I will express it. I will teach. Clearly. I'm not polite. I'm a fairy with attitude. I'm a fairy with attitude with, by nature. I am sincere always from the heart. If it feels like no to me, feels like no to me. If it feels like yes to me, feels like yes to me. It feels like, no, I, this is not my work. No, I'll not put up with this. I will tell you. If people come in my class, they show me in their comments their energies of separation, I will show them because I'm a teacher. I'm sincere. I will get upset if something violates me, if something doesn't make you feel right. But I'll tell you something. I'm not in ego. I know I'm not guilty of anything. I know I'm a great master doing great work. I'm not apologizing for being myself. I don't need to please anyone. I'm teaching enlightenment. The creating greatest value for those who want to reach enlightenment. I'm very sincere. 
I'm sincere to you. If you violate me, if you do something to me that really doesn't feel right to me, I will tell you sincerely, this doesn't feel right to me. If If it feels like, no, this is not my work, this is not what I'm doing, like messenger, I'm opening messenger one time a day if I do. It's not what I work, it's not what I will do for anyone. Even my mama knows. It's something I'm most allergic on, feels most no to me. And people want to chat with me that I guide them in messenger and like this. It doesn't please them. Maybe even hurt them when I tell them, no, I'm a teacher, I do a lot, art of the word that I am is on Facebook, I'm an artist and teacher, not personal guide, not personal advisor, not a guru, but you are welcome to my class and you are welcome to my teachings. I'm not doing anything what doesn't feel right. I'm always truthful and sincere. We all think that being polite and to please is so nice, but I'm always truthful and sincere. You know, we are here to be truthful and sincere and not polite. Truthful and sincere. Because what? I'm not in ego. I'm not guilty of anything. I healed my guilt. I know I'm a great light, great love just like you are. I respect myself and respect my energy. And I say no, and I do things that feel right in my energy, and I express myself clearly how it feels when others are dealing in my personal energy, because everybody comes here by their own. Why? Because first of all, I'm not in ego, I'm not controlling anyone, and I really take care that if I'm in personal energy of somebody that what doesn't feel right to them, that they tell me. Because I want to please others, I love you. I don't want to control you for you to do things for me just to please you, just to please me, please you. No, no. I want you to be sincere. I want you to enjoy. So if I would force you to put up with something that you don't like, then I don't love you. And then I know I don't blame myself, I'm free of this fucking ego. So I know I'm not doing this to anyone. I'm actually, if somebody tells me that it doesn't feel right to them and I'm in their house on their page in their energy, I will respect it. Because I respect their energy as my own. I love them. And that's, not, that's why I don't blame myself, that's why there's no guilt in me. And that's why I say no. And everybody knows. I sincerely, if you comment in my class, sometimes I sincerely express myself, the energies that I see, clearly. I'm not polite, I'm not people-pleasing. Like, we all want lies. Ego is a liar. It's blaming you and blaming others. And because it's blaming you non-stop, it's lying to others and being polite and being sincere. It's like we want lies. We want to be deceived. I'll tell you something. Somebody who lies to you, this was so great what we did, but he suffered. Yes, I will do this for you, but he, do, he don't, don't want. He glorifies you, but he doesn't feel like this. He's doing something for you that he doesn't feel. He actually lying to you that his mother is sick, but he won't want to watch TV. Such person, even when they glorify you, you know, as always, they take care to please you. They are never sincere. They are deceiving you. They are deceiving you. They are deceiving you. Yeah. And even when they say they love you, that they glorify you, and they say you are great and they support you, you can never know if they are sincere. You can never know if they are sincere. I do not deceive anyone. I will get very angry, like I got very angry to that girl, uh, because she projecting some romantic energy, telling me that I kissed her in her dreams and something. These are her projections, her, what is within her, nothing to do with me. And she didn't stop. And she has a child and a husband. And I smashed her mind completely. I'm not deceiving anyone. I will not pretend. And this is a big issue. 
And for the smallest thing, I'm not deceiving anyone. I'm sincerely, truthfully. In my energy, if you come in my personal energy, because I leave everyone alone, I give everyone peace, I don't want to make everyone feel right, wrong. And that's why everybody who is messing with my energy, who comes in my energy, if they violate in any way, I am sincere, I'm not deceiving anyone. And that's why with me, I... You can be 100% that when I say I love you, when I say I want you to reach enlightenment, that I bless you, that it actually is coming from the heart, that I sincerely feel it, that I sincerely, sincerely mean it. Because when I'm disturbed, I'm so sensitive and I'm so outspoken. I never pretend, I'm never polite, even a little too rough. But you can... You can always know that I mean it and you never even may think that if you are imposing, if you are violating, don't ever apologize if you did something wrong. If you violate my energy, I would tell you immediately on the spot. I'm not in ego because I'm free of blaming you and blaming others. I let you be in your energy who you are, but in my energy, I just say, I don't want to deal this. You be who you are with your energy. I'm very sensitive to this. So it's not possible to impose me, to control me, to do anything to me that doesn't feel right because I don't tolerate it. I'm outspoken clearly, sincerely, from the heart truthfully. So never think that you're imposing or something. Ah, oh, let everybody know immediately. Or I delete their comment or something. But usually I let them know. <sighs> and everybody is glorifying people pleasing and politeness. Fuck politeness. We are here to be sincere. People pleasing and politeness is just that you are guilty of something. And then you must please others and put up with that shit. Or that you... You will not love yourself. And you are not real. You know, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's just blaming you that something is wrong if you are. But when you are sincere, sincerity is a state of no ego, not politeness and people pleasing. But when you are sincere, like if I go on fire, you know I'm sincere, I mean it. And when I tell you, after I bless you, I love you. Or I tell to anyone here, I love you, I bless you, please reach enlightenment. I'm a person who was like this from birth. Highly autistic, uh, divine feminine, Mercury is who I am. Mercury is, I'm ruled by Mercury and Venus. Venus was full, uh, full moon, super blood eclipse. I'm so sensitive and so feminine. I'm, I cannot be nothing else but sincere. In past I screamed. I cannot pretend and let something inside. I'm polite. I'm not polite. I'm truthful and sincere always. When you have this ego that is blaming you and others, it's always blaming you for being yourself. No, you should not be yourself. No, no, no. You should please people. You should polite. You should pretend. This is ego the mask. But when you're free of ego, you want others to be themselves in their energy. You respect their energy. Never do to them what doesn't feel right. And in your energy, when others are dealing with you, you are sincere and truthful. Never lying. Never pretending. And that's why with me, you can always know everything is all right, unless I would tell you that you didn't violate any of my energy because I'm so sincere and truthful. I'll fucking tell you in a moment. That state of no ego. It's actually, yes. Some people think it's wrong if you tell the people, hey, what you're doing in my energy is not right. I don't want to do this for you now. It doesn't feel right. Or that kind of thing. But no, this is state sincerity, truth that's coming from the heart. People think lies are righteous, pretending and politeness. But this is ego blaming you for being yourself. So ego is the interface to keep you in this world. It just blames you and blames others non-stop.
So I want to just tell you that. So whatever are the thoughts, judging others, blaming others, what they did wrong, what they did, blah, 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 blah. It's coming from ego. When you clearly think, feel something is not in alignment, you clearly feel, you don't think about it, you just walk away, you bless them in unconditional love. You don't judge. Like I don't. I express myself, I walk away. And blessings. When you're blaming yourself, guilt, shame, what you did wrong, what could go wrong here, what is wrong, the possibilities, all kind of worst case scenarios, all, it's all, the function of ego is to blame you and blame others so you become, remain in a matrix. So all these negative emotions that comes from these negative thoughts are just source, your highest, truest self, giving you a signal that you went out of the alignment. You know, nothing else. And you should not trust any of that. Anything blaming you, thinking what you did wrong, thinking what they think you did wrong, thinking what wrong will happen in worst case scenarios, and shame, guilt and everything, and jealousy and envy and malice, hate, blame to yourself and others. All this is ego, false separation. Ego is separation from self, and separation from self is negative separation. It's all these energies of guilt, blame, shame, hate, envy, malice, manipulation, control. All violations. Truth is that I am in the heart and I am you, your truest, highest self. It's not blaming you and blaming anyone. It sees clearly everything and is sincere and truthful doesn't deceive myself, doesn't deceive you, and blesses you and wants you to be truthful and sincere, and in the energy, my energy, truthful and sincere. This is the true self. Not blaming others, not blaming you, but being yourself unapologetically from the heart, and all these thoughts of guilt, no, no, this is ego. When you are in alignment with yourself, there's no guilt, there's no shame, there's no thinking what you did wrong. It's just coming from the heart, being who you are, up unapologetically. What others think and judge, you don't give a fuck. What your mind judges, you don't give a fuck. The truth is who you are. It's not ego. It's not blaming you and blaming others, but for being who you are and who they are, but your true self is being you from the heart, unapologetically, always in the world. So this, you are not your ego. Ego is interface that tells you you are your mind and tells you what the fuck is wrong with you and others blames and judges, the judges blames everybody and runs in fear, afraid of others and that's why judging and attacking others. Afraid for survival than taking from others. It's separation. But truth is just being yourself from the heart unapologetically. Honoring and respecting your own energy, your house, your pages. Like you respect energy of others. Saying no when you mean no. Saying yes when you mean no. Being sincere and truthful. Because you want everybody to be sincere and truthful and you want everybody to feel right. You don't want others to please you and to be polite and to lie just to please you. No, you want them to be happy. And you want yourself to be happy. And that's why you don't allow others to do what doesn't feel right to you. You don't please them, you're not polite, you express yourself. And you would never also make others feel wrong, control them. Violate them in any way, make them not feel right. So, you don't want them to be polite to you, you want them to be sincere. If I'm in your house, if I'm in your personal energy, I'm doing something, I want others to be sincere to me. 
because it doesn't feel right to them. I want, I love people. I want to please people. The same is in my page. If you come on my page, I'm sincere and truthful. You're always welcome and everything. Just don't fight. Don't defend your mind. If you are in my class, you are in my energy. If I got disturbed, I feel something. I'm sensitive to energy. I don't care for the words. And for this, I feel the energies. If I express myself, I don't like this. Just accept it. Delete the comment or whatever. If you will fight, you may lose me. Because I don't want to control, manipulate, change anyone. And I don't want nobody to please me. I don't blame anyone, I don't blame myself, I'm just being myself in my energy unapologetically and knowing what feels right and what doesn't feel right to me, I'm being sincere, not polite. And that's the truth. Politeness, pretending, people pleasing, that's ego blaming you for being yourself. Okay, this is what we have today for you. and. Thank you for loving the art of the world that I am. We are too. More is to come. I love you. Thank you for all the love. And I hope there's some value for you in this video. I actually united two topics, which I actually, of one, wanted to write in the evening. And now I'm just, if the friend will come, I'll call him. And thank you. This is my first work. This is what I always do. I call friends for healing. <laughs> Exceptionally. I'm here for you, art of the word and I am, teacher. And thank you for loving the art of the word and I am. Be always sincere. I'm always sincere. Be in your truth. So, and if anybody wants to sincerely from the heart, by your desire, support the art of the word that I am, if you want to assist the art of the word that I am to go on, and you actually, you know, without of you, I would not be able to do anything. And I'm so grateful. I appreciate everyone who ever offered me a do donation. And all of my blessings I go to you. I will never forget you. As I rise to my greatest purpose, as I am ready, as I master myself to completion, that source knows that I'm ready, I never to forget you because you helped me through the time when I am where I was and from my real self, free of fear, free of guilt, I'm teaching, I'm being a master and I'm heading to my greatest dreams and greatest purpose on earth, greatest service, and I will never forget you. And if there's any blessing in my heart, it goes all to you. In giving we receive, maybe you receive more. You have to feel by yourself. And only donation that is given from the heart in joy is accepted. And you have to know why you're giving also. Because in giving we receive. I'm just a little child. And I'm so grateful. Thank you. I do white light source healing on anyone, quantum healing, whoever offered me a donation. I cannot heal you. I'm not a healer. I'm a teacher. I do this on the street for some friends or I meet somebody. And for anyone who offers me a do donation, I will not chat about it. It's quantum healing. No appointment needed. Same day or day after, I will work on your energies, I will balance your chakras, I will balance your energies, I will purify out what needs to be purified, I will ground you, I will fill you up with white light, I will bait you in white light. But if you do the changes on yourself, if you stop blaming yourself, blaming yourself, stop being polite, stop pretending, stop people pleasing, but you're truthful to yourself and to others, and you stop blaming yourself and others, you go out of your ego, you save yourself, you heal yourself. I cannot teach you, I can only teach, but you enlighten and save yourself, you remember yourself. I cannot heal you, but if you do the changes, you heal yourself, you save yourself, and that's how it is. So, thank you for being part of the art of the world that I am. I love you, and see you, hopefully, every day. That's my intention, with few days exception. Namaste, much love.